it's really sad that this had to happen, you know, and uh, to everyone out there, you don't laugh at a man when he's down. Uh, we should all learn from this situation, this tragedy that happened, that occurred. And I really just wish comfort to the family and just, you know, God watch over them. As soon as Gilly and Wallow walked in, they had on cashmere suits. The suits of suede, it's like they looked it real good. And the way that they prepared this service for YNG Cheese, I would like to let everybody know, if you guys rocking with YNG Cheese and you want to send your condolences, throw the RIP YNG Cheese in the comment section because this was a sad and tragic situation that had to happen. We know for a fact that his windows was down when they rolled up. When they rolled up to Cheese, his windows was down. This is how they was able to identify who was in the car. Everybody know the two dudes that showed up to the front of the service, it reminds me of the movie Juice because they hugged Gilly, but they knew they had something to do with it. I want you guys to know the front of the service, it went well. Nobody real life got in tour with each other. Everybody was really there to support Gilly and Wallow. We know that you can't keep putting yourself in these situations. You can't be in these streets not thinking about your family. Your family is the ones who's going to be grieving for you and the ones who's going to really want you to, like, be there. To still be alive. And this family is now grieving their 25-year-old son, nephew, friend, cousin, brother that they lost because of a sad situation, a bad situation that shouldn't have happened in the first place. We know that something deeper than just a random, you know, incident occurred. And the investigators, they stated it was names mentioned, but the names that was mentioned, one of the guys that was at the funeral, his name was mentioned in the paperwork. And I want everybody to know one thing, the way that they got under that car and started working, we knew for a fact it was gonna be something. They, like, y'all gotta really look at what's going on because the funeral service, they put most of the friends and family, all the family was in the middle. The friends was right behind the family. They put the family at the back of the whole funeral service. I want y'all to know that this is something that everybody know in Philly, you can't go to only street and just ride through they block back to back to back because something gonna eventually happen. When you in the hood, these things happen back to back. Every chance, every time you turn around, this happening. And we already know for a fact that ain't nobody finna sit there and let that happen to Cheese. Nobody wanted that to happen to Cheese. This is why Gilly told his son, you gotta stop going to the hood at some yeah. point. He's been telling him for years that he didn't want him involved in this the gang life basically the street life he didn't want him in that and um it's it's documented proof in his podcast him talking about how he wanted a better life for his son and how he wanted him to be able to get out of the streets and like tried to encourage him as best as he could to get out of the streets but cheese was his own person and so he made his own decisions and I know a lot of people say that he was 25 years old and he could do whatever he want to do. That's true. But at some point in time, you got to listen to your father and your mother. Yeah, you got to listen to your family. They want what's best for you. And especially when it comes down to something like this, if you know that you're doing something that's bad, if you know you're doing something that could get you hurt, listen to your family when they're telling you, hey, stop doing that. Hey, don't go there. Don't be with those people. Don't put yourself in those situations because when you put yourself in those situations, this could be the outcome. If your mom and your dad are telling you, hey, I don't like you hanging around those people. And those people, you know, for a fact are gangbangers and drug dealers and people that are in the streets and doing crimes that you know of. And you're like, oh, no, no, they're my friend. They're my friend. The, your family wants you out of that situation before you get hurt before you lose your life because of your friend and it's sad because it happens every day happen every day especially if you're in the hood you already know if you know you know 
was easily said, don't need to be explained. That's why I say the funeral service was wonderful. Everybody sat back and they they said RP cheese. People walked up to the front of the whole thing where the podium was. They instantly people gave their peace of mind. People said what they had to say and how they felt about this whole situation. We know Gilly got that hundred million dollars. We know for a fact that he gave his son two million dollars. He told him, I'ma buy your own house, I'ma buy you a car, just stay out the hood. And Cheese kept going back to the hood to do his music. And people don't really look at it until it's too late. But I want you guys to listen to this video of the funeral service. We know this is a revolving door. You have to open your eyes to what's really going on because people sit there and look at it as if he had full control of his son. He didn't because his son was 25 years old. He could do what he want to do. He chose to go in the streets, but it ain't good that his son passed away by being in the streets. I want you guys to know he was with other people who got hit up too. And by them even get hit up, we know that this was something that easily could have been avoided because right. they should have never been in that place that that place at right. that time. And what was the situation that led up to that? What happened? This wasn't random. This couldn't have been random. Those three men. It wasn't a random thing. Because and it's really sad. They sprayed the whole car and he yeah. ended up getting hit in the back. And this is why I always say you have to watch the company you keep because Ain't no telling if one of they friend, one of his friends was in tool with people. You feel me? And y'all already know. Y'all know. Ain't nobody just coming to spray up nobody car for no reason. And they don't know who in there and that they gonna be at that particular right. spot at that particular moment. Right. And it's sad because if you listen to the old podcast that Gilly had, he all he would mention that he wanted his son out of the street. He would talk about trying to get his son away from that life. But how his son didn't want to listen. And look where it got him. And I know I want to just, I want y'all to sing y'all condolences. I want y'all to throw them R.I.P. cheese down in the comment section. And if you're a fan of him, I want you to throw them wine G's in the comment section. And support the channel. I want you guys to understand that this is factual evidence that basically states that it had to been some type of faulty play in it because they didn't just roll up on them and this incident happened for no reason. It don't happen like that. Yeah, it doesn't happen like that. It had to, there had to have been something. And it'll come out, the police are investigating right now, looking into who exactly was the shooter and what was the events that took place that led to this. And it's really sad. I just send condolences out to the family. Gilly the kid, I'm sorry for your loss. To his mom. His auntie, his auntie and his grandmother. His She's grandma. the main one who's who basically looking at it like one of her grandsons got like got found. Like, you feel me? In that car. Fell victim to the streets. Watch your circle before they hurt you, y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to realize, send your condolences and let me know in the comment section how you feel about this situation because this is sad. Everyone's hearts are hurting and grieving along with this family. And this could happen to anybody. It's a sad world. And of course, the fact that Gilly and Walla tried to get Cheese out of the streets. But Cheese was living his life. He, he was living his life. And dying at 25 is really sad. But as much as his family wanted to get him out of the streets, he ended up in that sad situation on that street during that shooting. We see a lot of people get trapped in these situations and they can't get up out of it. And then the family end up being the ones left grieving at the end. We know that this is something that happens every day. We see people fall victim to the streets every day. If you go in the streets, you know it ain't no guarantee that you're going to make it back. 
I just want to know that Gilly see that his son was going through this. You see what I'm saying? Because his son was going outside every single day. And Gilly Steady asked him, like, yeah. stop going to the hood because ain't no telling if they plotting on you, if yeah. they want to do something to you. Because he if didn't they want see... that life for his son. Yes.